Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Davey HD3 here. As you can see, it's definitely build season now. The weather outside is incredibly frightful. So, uh, this right here is a Great Plains Accuthrow throw meter control surface deflection meter and uh, I was building the Beach 15E, Beechcraft Bonanza 15E and this is what we need to find our control throws okay if you look the box comes like this and it was sealed I opened it up and inside you get your smaller rods you get a meter in inches and on the other side you get it in millimeters the instructions do call out in inches and millimeters I guess if you're overseas you'd prefer the millimeters more familiar to you it comes with these these pads it comes with this structure I forget what they call it that connects to the rods and holds the actual deflection meter it's pretty sturdy uh, one gripe I have about it is that these do come out when you're trying to you know you have to reposition this make it a little bit firmer or you have to spread it out and they do pop out a lot but it works good and it did uh, show me my deflections very accurately it also comes with a larger set of these rods for larger aircraft I guess giant scale a little bit bigger obviously compared to what we're working on so you just put those in the box and keep them on handy for when you're working on that that giant scale project and then inside it included is all the directions necessary to build it and how it works and how to use it and they're pretty straightforward easy for me to read and understand I'm a dope so it, it definitely helped out a little bit uh, I do understand what 90 degrees is and I didn't really need this demonstrating but I uh, this just shows that anybody who's looking at this will understand what's going on over here what they're showing is this is overbent more of a 90 and it's telling you to rebend it like this and this is an actual 90 and that's a little overbent 90 pretty helpful you know if, if you didn't know what 90 was or what over was that that could help you so and they also give you a parts list up here of in case anything breaks and uh, what I was referring to earlier, these right here, as you can see, are called the pylons. And they come with this, see there's your pylon. They also come with the foam, foam rubber pads to put on so you don't hurt your wings. Um, these are the support wires, okay, as you can see. It comes with wheel collars that secure and hold on the pylons, but there's nothing really securing on the other end of the pylons these wires and they sort of come out every once in a while when you're readjusting but it, it does as it said and it works good I got my my uh, control throws done perfectly and what we'll do is I'll go ahead and show you how this works and it worked pretty good I mean with a little adjustment you can push these in or pull them out to match how thick your wing cord is and it'll work just fine and give you your correct throws you want to make sure you're starting off zeroed. Um, if you're using flaps and they're mixed in, uh, you definitely want to plug your flaps into an aileron channel to center a servo. But other than that, it, it works as advertised. Uh, pretty cheap. It works good. Uh, really no complaints here. Let's go ahead and I'll show you with my DX7 here all of our deflections. And I'll use the owner's manual to show you what's called out. and what we get. Hey guys, here we go. We got our throw meter. It's assembled and we're going to go ahead and put it on. Everything's powered up and we're going to check our throws. Uh, you want to be careful. 
if you look under here you don't want to hit your linkage there's linkage for the ailerons on each side you don't want to put this on the linkage obviously you want to be a little bit to one side of that and you want to be at zero like so as you can see the center of this aileron is lined up with the end of this and it's also lined up with zero here okay or pretty darn close within a sixteenth if you look on the gauge you have sixteenths you have eighths you have your quarter you have your half and it continues on to one inch one and a half inch and two inches um, starting off in our owner's manual here we're calling out for what they want for the ailerons here's the ailerons in high rate we're going to start with low rates up is quarter inch and down is quarter inch or six millimeters they give both specifications in there see that quarter inch or six millimeters for your low rates down here in our DX7 we're starting off I have my all my dual rates are set to my elevator DR that's my dual rates for everything elevator rudder ailerons and flaps all dual rates are in here uh, we're going to start off with zero rates and what 